well, we're on Brighton Beach, and uh, after some recent reports on uh, this uh, online forum about fishing, we uh, decided to give this place a shot. Um, now, there's been reports of place, flounder, dabs, and many whiting, so we're just going to try, try it out here. We're going to run you through what bait we're using. We've got some nice big maddies here. Or ragworm, it's other people call it king rag, you would say that is. And then we've got here some fresh slugs. It all starts off with a clip swivel um, attached to, I think this is 30 pound line. So that's attached right to the bottom of the 30 pound line. And that's what holds your weight on so it doesn't slip. So that's why we use that, and uh, then we come up about 30 centimetres, and then we've got a drop off. This is a three turn water knot. You wrap it around three times both the lines, and then cut off one end, and that gives you your drop off. To that, we attach some brightly coloured beads. It doesn't really matter what colours we use, I think mainly doing alternations between one colour and another colour. And then um, six turn blood knot, and then we attach that onto the hook. So then you've got your hook there. And then we come down, this is quite a long trace here, about a metre, and then you come down to another drop off with the same three turn water knot. And then you've got your alternating beads again, slightly different on this one, and then the hook. And then down, finally, you've got your swivel, and that attaches it to the main line of your of your um, rod, so that you can cast it out. Here are two knot diagrams: one with a three-turn water knot, and the other a six-turn blood knot. Hello, Louis. So. Uh, Literally, you brewed this one in, so tell us about it. Um, well, it's a very small dab I've just caught, and uh, I didn't really see any bites. Um, I just reeled in and it felt a little bit heavier than usual. And um, as you can see, it is very, very small, you know, about the size of my hand. And for the first uh, first trip to Brighton yeah. Beach, it's not bad. <laughs> we had quite a bad, uh, yeah. quite a bad experience down there with the rocks and stuff. We lost quite a lot of weight right. and gear. I'm gonna. Put you Back. Get it back. It's going to be really loud now because the waves, but yeah. yeah, let's get this one back and uh, hopefully this will grow bigger and we'll catch it in the future. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's go. This is over high tide as well. Go on then, 3, 2, 1, go. There it is. Here are a few pictures of Louis' dab. This was a great surprise as we did not expect a dab to be the first fish of the session. So yeah, we're, this is it. This is incredible. And uh, yeah, Louis, tell us what you thought. Uh, well, here I've got a nice big place off by the beach again, and uh, it's got lovely colours on this one. Look at that, as you can see, quite small dots. You can get some with great large dots, but look yeah. at the thickness of it. Um, really, really thick, thick um, place. Um, it's my first ever place I've actually caught. I've only caught dabs and flounders before. And so I came down to Brighton to get one of these. And it wasn't long before another ESC member was into a fish. Might be a small Maybe a small um, hi, just got this uh, place. Um, we're at Brighton Beach today, uh, fishing. I see Sussex casters and my friend Alfie's here. And uh, Louis had a place and a dab. And I've just got this nice place here. Lovely colours on there. Yeah. And look, look, look at the dots. Yeah. Lovely dots. Really happy. Good. Good. All the flatfish caught were of a decent size, making it the perfect session. Uh, we're on Brighton Beach again, and uh, I've just caught this uh, massive, massive place. 
I can barely reel in by the time it got to the shore and On the scales, this flatfish weighed in just over a pound, making it the largest one that the ESC have ever caught. You can see the comparison between Louis's hand and the size of the fish. Just reeled this one in and uh, got a lovely flounder, and that's another species for the day. And I'm going to keep this one, but um, we usually return our fish, but obviously as they're coming Special in... occasion. As, yeah, they're coming in one off the other, so we thought we'd keep a couple of them, and especially flounder, they taste nice. So let's unhook him now, see if we can just pop this one out. And as the session got later, more fish came on the bite. So we're at Brighton, and uh, again, it's getting later now in the session, and I've, and I've got this nice flounder here. And uh, this came in on a piece of ragworm, and I cast out just over there. Got two rods on the moment, so hopefully there's another chance of catching one. Uh, place this time, but uh, this is a nice, um, this is a nice flounder. Sessions like this don't come round very often, so we took our chances while we had them and made the most of the afternoon. So, really in here. Hopefully, I've got a fish on. And hopefully, I have a good size. What's this? Uh, two, a double shot of uh, a whiting. Oh, no. There we are. A double That's shot of whiting. That's a bass. Is that a tiny, is that, is that, is that a tiny little bass? That's a oh. scrawly bass. Scrawly bass. <laughs> look tiny at that. Bass. First bass of the year. Oh, wow. Lovely. Another species. There we are. Another species. Quite a sharp look. Yeah. There, there we look. go. A little bass. First bass of the year. Uh, very uh, small, very, very small. small, but it's cool. It's, it's still cool. a bass. Yep. Uh, uh, cool. Well, let's get both back. And it's very it's sharp. Cool you might have another fish another here. Another here. I'm not sure what I've got on, but that's oh, good. Flat fish. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't know where oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that was a flat fish. Yeah. yeah. What is Lovely. that? A place, I think. Oh, is that better be? Oh my god, is that another? Oh my god, it's another flounder. I don't believe it's it. It's another flounder. I don't believe it. Another, another one. flounder. As a late evening was approaching, we knew the whiting would soon be on the bite. That feels good. That feels good. That's, but that's the first set. So, set. here we go, second. Is that, is that heavy? Yeah, it feels a little bit. It feels like uh, maybe one fish. The other one felt quite heavy because there was two fighting yeah. at the same time. And that usually just creates that knocking effect on the top of the rod. Usually with flatty, it's more of a, a steady pull. But yeah. with flounders, it can sometimes be a, a rapid yeah, yeah. But that's getting heavy now. All right. Which, which could be a, it could be a flatfish. Could be the place you're looking for. Could be. <laughs> I Hopefully. don't know. Looks like it's come off. Oh no, what have we got here? Oh, another double shot. Another double shot. The whiting are really coming in now. Whiting coming in. During a quick tally, more fish were back on the bite. Yeah, quite a while now. And, uh, yeah, we've got loads of fish. Um, Louis caught two dabs, a place, some, uh, some whiting, and uh, knock on that one as well. You can see that just wobbling there. Yeah, that's one there. So I'm going to grab that one in. Louis, do you mind taking the camera? I'm just going to get this one in. All right. So yeah, go ahead. I'm going to pop this in my pocket. So could be another fish. Just looking at the other rod, I was. And that's a, that's a strong bite. So, you think it's heavy? Yeah, I think there could be a fish on here. And it was a bit unexpected. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Looks <laughs> looks yeah. like a good bend in that. So really? Bring it up again? I'll try and film it. Yeah, okay. Go down. Look at that. That's a good bend. Oh, you got a double header again. Double header? Of whiting. Is that well, whiting? Yeah. Back, back. No, no, it's a whiting. Uh, yeah, both whiting. No, two whiting. Um, right. Two whiting. Good though. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to get the other rod in a second. So, we're just going to end the session here. And, uh, it's been 
been a great day. We've caught so many fish. Even a little um, thrown in bass came up, a little schooly bass. And uh, that was on my rod. And it was a great little fight. And uh, yeah, Louis is reeling in here. He might have something small on. Well, it looks like another flatty, doesn't it? No, no. 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 A whiting. It's a whiting. All right, and well, that's, that's, uh... that's what we seem to be catching all the time now. It's getting dark. We're going to have to pack up soon and uh, right. get back as quick as we can. I'm just going to unhook this one really quickly. Whiting are usually quite easy to unhook. Yeah, a little push. There we go. And let's go in back quick. As, as I said, it's getting dark now, so it's going to be difficult to see. But we're going to pack up after this one. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.